All right, Steve, uh, what you asked for was uh, a red shift light and for your Z logo to light up uh, at the same time as, as the RPM needle. I sent you an email that explained that I tried that before, and what happens is when the RPM needle goes red and the logo goes from nothing to red, you lose all the contrast. It just becomes one red little mush there. Uh, so what I did, and um, you can tell me if you approve, I have created a little cardboard box and took great care. I glued that together, cut those pieces with scissors. Took great care to make sure that it's the same height as our um, jig here. So it lays flat so the green doesn't bleed to the blue and the blue doesn't bleed to the green. And, oh, drop the gauge face. And it took a while to adjust where it was real hard to get it smooth. And I don't know if I noticed, I didn't point it out. I have two LEDs here facing down. Because I learned a long time ago, if you face them up, they're so close to the gauge face that we'd get a hot spot where you could actually just see the light of the LED, you know what I mean? So I face them down and use reflected light out of the box. Had I been a little smarter, I would have put white tape inside the box to make it a little brighter. But now that it's built and adjusted and soldered in place, there's no way I'm taking that puppy apart. And, and it looks great, too. So let's go to the car and look at it. Oh, yeah. I had the LCD in there to cover up all that and the other needles. Oh, I think that's going to look great. You'll have to let me know. Fantastic. I promise that needle looks better in person than it does on this camera. I guarantee it does. It's a bright red. But see, when that was red with a red needle, it just kind of disappears. And then, and then, when that's not lit up, it's kind of funky. So, I'll send this to you and see what you think.